the album's pretty like okay okay that's true that's very true but i'm i'm mainly talking about those one hits i'm gonna be honest i listen to the radio only right so I'm like i don't expanding li- upon yeah. your idea you're absolutely right so um ooh cersei 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 tadio and church churchy churchy Ch- churchy C E R C I. Churchy, actually. Hey M, how do I pronounce? Uh, is it Cersei or Cersei? Cersei. Cersei. Okay. okay. Cersei and Di, not Didact. Um, Didact. Tadio. Cersei and uh, Tadio versus Miho and Didact. Didact, Miho. Didact. Yeah, Didact. Didact, Myjo. Myjo. Tadaya. You're right. Myjo sounds a lot more bastardized. Oh man, the music's not heartless. Can't look at a room full of dancing people and say it's heartless. The salsa, yeah, I would say the saucy pickle. There's if the room, if the music sound is something you can dance to and something you can jam to. There's nothing wrong with that. Ooh, speaking of jamming to things, I really Luigi. love to jam to the sound of down smash. Luigi, did you hear that earlier? Do 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 do. Yes. Oh wait, you mean, oh you mean peaches? Yeah. I mean, that sounds I thought, like some of that super high pitched. I thought you meant really you, fast like Euro techno. Right I thought there. you meant you jam to Luigi's voice when he does his down smash. Oh god, no. <laughs> I feel like his voice would be something that would only show up in a song if it was like this really bad Euro pop song where <laughs> yeah. right before the breakdown, Luigi just goes. Wah! Yeah, exactly. Basically. <laughs> Really accurate. That's how. It, that's how it is too. You can find all sorts of mixes online. Good, like yeah. Luigi and Mario's voice. That doesn't sound good, but it sounds like just weird enough that well, people like it. It's in the right. It's in the same spot that it's in for every other like electronic song that has the same volume. Mm. Yep. It it feels familiar, but at the same time, you know, the sound is different. So you just think you. Well, so. In a peach, when, in a peach versus peach in teams, is it really about who can stock tank the most, or is it really about who can help their teammate wall out the other team better? I think it's about whoever gets the money down smashes. <laughs> you right. <laughs> That's it. Although peach honestly, is a zero skill character. Let's be honest. Yeah, true. Although you know, honestly, the the down smashes are going to be kind of hard to get. You know, like the ooh. Wow, that was an interesting. Um, this is look at the stocks right now. What kind of story does this tell about the game we're watching? This tells a story that. I think everybody saw coming. <laughs> yeah, I think this, this is, is a story that your grandpa starts to tell, and everybody groans and goes like, "Uh, this is like the 80th uh, time I've heard no. this song." <laughs> it's just like, well, you know, back in <laughs> my I, day, beaches I told would live you, longer than foxes. Did I tell you about the the war in Nam? Yes, grandpa, you have yes, many for the times. Time. Uh, that said, that nice um, you see that? And now it's even. Well, the stock tanks are starting to show their value. Yeah. Now it's really about who can kill who. And I think when it comes to killing power, I think that uh, Didact has a little bit of an advantage over Luigi. I Even though Luigi's matchup against Peach is really not very bad and he has plenty of ways to kill mm-hmm. Peach, he didn't have enough smash. Yep, exactly. Though, to be fair, um, if... Okay, that changes a lot right there. That's it, actually. That's the entire game. Yeah, no, well, that's it. I was going to say that uh, if Luigi can get some like pretty quick kills on Fox, which Luigi is very capable of doing, then uh, that changes things a little bit. True. Right? Maybe less capable of doing when there's a teammate there. One of the things yeah. that really screws over Luigi and teams is when Luigi wants to go off the stage and hit somebody, the other teammate can just grab the ledge and Luigi will die. Yep. Luigi cannot get back to the stage, just back to the ledge. Ooh. <gasps> no! Okay. This, this could happen. Okay, this is... Um... All right, you see, so... From what I know of Peach Dittos, all he's got to do is he's got to pick those turnips and he's got to throw them more better than the other Peach player. More better. Let's and, go. And good God, don't jump into the blender. Don't Let's see do if he it. can do it. Don't. Okay. This is actually scary right now. I'm actually. <gasps> Ooh, the power shield. Ooh, did you just grab the turnip out of Dude, the air afterwards? He pulled that turnip with no fear. The other Peach was coming in. He just said, you know what? That's I know what your space is. That's the game. Is. All right. Oh. That was a really tight game one, actually. Yeah. Oh, did you see the reel back on him? He's like, oh. He's not happy. He's uh, so mad, who's dude. who's playing who on a uh, green team right now? Um, is Tadio? Tadio's playing Luigi? I bet. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. The one okay. located in the human body. Jonas is right. I think Jonas that I think that solves the whole thing. Here's honestly. the thing. Right Even if heart. something okay, having heart, having a song with heart, doesn't necessarily make it a good song, and having a song without heart doesn't necessarily make it a bad song either. I would go with that, yeah. Heart is like, 
just some arbitrary, like, okay, meaning. Not everything in life has meaning, and that's heart, fine. Heart is like one of those arguments that you come up with when you can't come up with another one. Yeah. I don't know, that's been done to death. Mm -hmm. That said, uh, someone died really fast. Uh, Didact actually just instantly died. Wait, I didn't catch that he Me died. Me neither. I what just, I looked at the screen and I saw him respawning and I was like, wait a second. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a, certainly a great start. You know what? Cersei is probably feeling a lot better. Yeah, heck. Oh. But no, you know what? To be fair, if uh, Tadio, that's that for Tadio also. Wow. And already, and actually already, blue team's not leaving. Dude, that Luigi's anymore. side B in the air gets hella out of space by being back here. Yes, oh my yes, god, yes. did you see that? It gets out spaced by almost everything, actually. Yeah, the, but it was just like the butt wasn't even touching. <laughs> it wasn't him. even close. He didn't even get he didn't even get the satisfaction of having Peach's butt touch him. <laughs> just said no. Ooh. Ooh. The double jump maybe not really necessary. That was a super close edge guard though. Oh god. What just happened? I know somebody pressed down on the C stick and then I just heard Peach, two Peaches screaming, so. Alrighty. You think when she lets it rip, she screams? <laughs> Gotta let it rip, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, esports, what'd I say? <laughs> oh, actually, hey, by the way, actually, hey, Am, I have a question for you. We were discussing team names earlier, and uh, for Miho and Didact, I was thinking of. Uh, Daiho, is that a reasonable team name or is that too non esports? Alright, Daiho is uh, looking, you know, not as good in this game as they did in the last one. But For sure. Oh, you know, Cersei. Cersei. Ooh, Cersei. I like this. Let's that go. sounds like it's from a that sounds like it's from a classical piece of literature. Yeah, Cersei. <laughs> or it's a type of cheese, one of the two. That too, that too. Which you know what with with Peach Luigi it very well may be a type of cheese. Oh my. Ooh! Wow, that shield poke, that was unfortunate. You know, there's something about the way that Luigi's hat looks that just makes me think that there's head covering that, or like there's head filling that part that Oh yeah, from. yeah. His like, head is just has like a dent in it. Yeah, I feel like, cause I mean, I, f I feel like a person who's side bees in the air like that would definitely have a dent in their head in the center. Like maybe a fox back aired his head a little too hard one day. <laughs> he just, and that's why he sounds like that. Yeah, and it that's why like, you know. He just like deflated his head. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Luigi. Oh man. This is actually pretty ooh nice. I love that. It looks like he just drop kicks them. This is an extremely close game. I not oh. extremely close. Wow! No! Mio's wow. kicking himself so hard that was right now. So, that oh dare was like the biggest. I would be so uh, upset. Because he was dead. He was dead. But Luigi was dead, Luigi and then the down dead. air hit him and then he just forward aired him right out of there for the kill. That was crazy. That's terrible. The presence of mind. So, I mean, two stock, four stocks to two, but that said, you know, two very high percent green team characters right now. Definitely. Um, not well, feeling too bad for blue team right now, because again, this is this is all certainly very, very doable. Especially, definitely. you know, with that, especially if they take this Luigi stock with this edge guard here. Yep. Oh, he double jumped and bumped his head. He might have been okay, but he bumped his head. I hate it when I bump my head when I'm trying to double jump through oh, the abyss. Man, same. All right. No, oh, I don't know if I like the get up attack. I thought he was gonna try and like. Uh, get up attack is pretty booty. If you know what yeah. Saying. Then again, I guess Peach everything at the edge is pretty booty. Yeah, no joke. Peach's a very bad character. Can Peach? Um, I assume you can. Can you like uh, drop down float from the ledge? I think so. If you can, I thought he was gonna like get ready, like try and like save. Uh, Didact, if he had to. I think any of the aerials he could hit Didact with off the stage would just kill him. This is super close, actually. Yeah, Holy it is. moly, this is extremely close. Oh no, the down smash! Didact. Yep. No. Oh, nice tech. Didact! Wow. That was actually that was the tech. If he got, didn't get that tech, they lose the game right now. Oh. Oh, which you know what? Alright, you know what they say. They ain't dead. Oh, that's oh. it. Nice. That's it. Yep. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Genius. I messed him up. Are you trying to say musicality, Saucy Pickle? Because if you are, I, I actually I actually don't know what to say in response. The Saucy Pickle is a great name. That is Wait, actually look at this replay. Tag. That's a great tag. Oh, we're getting a replay of oh it. Oh, my God. No. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh, looking at that makes me so sad. Because, oh. like, I feel for him. Leo didn't deserve that. You no, know? he did. He was just trying to help. 
He did not think that his teammate was gonna get that up air. He was just trying to dare to land in a, in a freaking uh, nair. That was gonna be the end of it. Man, that just goes to show you that you can have no fun against floating mid tiers. <laughs> <laughs> Even floating mid tiers can get floaty mid tier. <laughs> for sure. Is Peach a floaty mid tier? I mean, for all intents and purposes. It's basically a floaty mid tier. Didac actually just up smashed Miho, trying to wave up, wave shine up smash Luigi. Oh wow. Didact missed space for the up smash. He ran a little too close and got hit by the pummel. Pretty sure that's what happened. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh. This is the second time in like the past like three stocks that Didact has really mistimed something from the edge and ended up getting punished pretty hard for it. Yeah, he's been having those like really tiny spacing mistakes uh, on the ledge and whenever his uh, teammate gets a grab. Mm -hmm. And you know who you can't do that against? Peach. Little tiny spacing mistakes against Peach get you killed as well. True. True. Little tiny, you know, People say that Fox is like really hard to play, and uh, in a technical sense, it's true. It's very, he's very hard to control, and there are a lot of things that you know in this meta game, a lot of characters can do if he isn't perfect. Mm -hmm. That's true. Fundamentally, Fox is like relatively simple because he just has the best of a lot of things. He has the best answers to everything. Yeah. If he um, can use them, that's another question. Exactly. Oh. Oh. I mean, <laughs> good get up attack. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, nice, nice, nice double back air. Oh, he went for that read, but missed space it just barely. Although this ledge Ooh. coverage was... That ledge yeah, coverage that, was, that was, was cute. I don't even like that. I feel like right there it would have been a good idea to go for the ledge for Didact, or maybe straight up and fastball to the ledge, because in that spot you can't really wave, you can't really wave land or wave dash onto the ledge, you know, because mm -hmm. there's that little wall blocking you. This is actually a really close game. Very yeah. comparable stocks and percents for both teams. I would say that if it comes down to a situation where both of the teams are really even, we would have to look for Miho and Didact possibly winning because they have better off the top yep. options. For Absolutely. Uh, I mean, Tadio has that up throw fair that he used last game. I think that was rough. That, that was that was Didact not. Uh, did you see that? Attention to where his teammate was. Didact, Didact just uh, tried to tech and he ended up air dodging off stage. Oh no, is he gonna? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, that was a nice save. He needs to. Yeah, but he just took 60% for nothing on his fresh last stock. This is like that was actually that was a really big deal. I feel like because they. I feel like blue team was. Oh, never mind. It's better now. Didact nice atoned. Didact atoned for his mistakes. I was gonna say that like blue team was like kind of ahead just a little bit throughout the whole game, and right there was like they just kind of switched it. All right, so here's this is where it really I don't know what I was gonna say. I had an analogy ready, but I just didn't. I dropped it. It really comes down if if Didact oh. can get some good up smashes, like or good up throw up airs or something, right? And especially you know we're in the tree stage. It's like the easiest place to get it. Oh no, he wanted- Oh, I think that was supposed to be an up smash out of shield and he ended up, uh... Oh gosh. Oh man. They actually killed the Peach first. They can do this too. They can actually definitely- He can still- <sighs> oh. No, at the side view. I thought he was gonna up the ledge. Didact's recoveries were not uh, on point. Good game. Says. And you know what? There were a few times where Didact, like, killed Miho too. Like, trying to edge guard somebody even though Miho was already there. There's, a, there's, there seemed to be a little bit of. Uh, that was a little heartbreaking. Maybe, maybe not enough synergy between those two. I would definitely say that uh, mm -hmm. Cersei and uh, Cersei Tadio and Tadio looks like, better, yeah. looks like a team. They look like a team. And and not to say that Miho and Didact better. didn't, but it's like, you know, things like uh, Miho grabbing and Didact up smashing, things like Didact up throw up herring and Peach daring. Um, oh. Okay. okay. Get out of here, Bear Fortress. All right, I have a I have a match, so I gotta go. Neptune's gonna replace me. Ugh. Dude, saucy pickle. If if a song sounds good, then that's actually all that matters. Cause that's like, if I make a song, and I do it to make people li have fun and enjoy my music, and people do, that's it. Like that's that's actually the only condition. No one's saying that this is like artwork and like this is like super impressive music. We're just saying it's good music, because being good just means that people are enjoying it. <laughs>